Hi guys, so going to start going through some of the videos that you guys are asking for on the group and um, that's my private Facebook group which is Craig Campbell SEO Training um, so The first one I'm going to do is Backlinks Creation Tutorial Step by Step So I'm going to give you my initial steps, places to go um, when I'm starting to build backlinks um, This is normally good for kind of low to middle of the road websites If you're going to um, do something a bit more advanced or more competitive then you are going to have to get slightly more aggressive and up your game but here is a backlink creation tutorial step by step um, which was added by Eli Gouth Gouthier so thank you very much Eli um, so <coughs> the first thing uh, that I would ever do when I've got a brand new domain name would be, and I'm just going to, wait a minute, I just want to check something first, fairly new domain name, dr29 just now, so anyway, I'm going to show you what got the kind of initial movement, movement going here with a new domain name, so you initially, the first thing I do would be go out um, to seobuilder.com previously known as citationsbuilder.com and what you're going to do is get one of the citation building packages now the small or the medium one is normally enough and it's, it's fairly self-explanatory here you get 35 links on a mix of generic niche specific and geographic specific directories now, what's really important here is they also spin your business description to make sure that it's unique and they also send it to an indexing tool. They do that for every single one of their packages. And the most important part here is that it gets you on some local directories and builds up some local trust and authority to your domain name. By doing this, is going to move uh, your DR up to about 10. Now, I'm not suggesting that DR is a ranking factor, but it kind of gives you an idea of, you know, how powerful a domain name is. So that's the very, very, very first thing that I do is go to SEO Builder and buy a citations package. Now, what you want to do is obviously have your GMB set up. What you'd also want to do in terms of citations would be go to any industry bodies that you can easily get a link on, or you can go to suppliers, try and get a link on there, and things like that. That will also help you um, along the way. The second part of my process would be to <coughs> go to a website like People Forever and just put in here guest posts. Now, up at the moment is popping. 10,000 guest posts. Now, I'm not suggesting that every single one of these is worth buying. What you want to do is future proof your website and you want to make sure that you get some good solid authority to your website from some of the kind of high powered websites that are out there. Now, <coughs> I would go for very generic websites. Rather, there's some sports stuff here. I think there was a where was it? Can't remember where I seen the sports one, but something like Self Growth, Thrive Global, um, are all very generic. The Sports Daily is very generic to the sports industry. Not recommending you get that. However, you can get things like on Market Watch or Deadline News, and you'll be able to see that these are all high-powered websites um, that, that you know give you a do follow link and build up some of that initial trust and domain authority or, or DR or whatever you're wanting to go for. Now I would go and get a bunch of these, just very generic ones, very, very generic. Um, and the reason for that is these are going to serve as pillow links, if you like, or whatever you want to call them, guest posts, whatever. And what I tend to do is grab a few of these, spend a couple of hundred bucks on them, then I'll get a tool like SU Autopilot, and I will use a whole bunch 
of web 2.0s to power up these guest posts. Now what that's basically doing is the guest post is allowing me to, to have a barrier between automation and my money website. And that's what you want. You don't want to use automation direct onto your money website. That's going to be a problem. So what I do is get a bunch of these and then put links at these guest posts to power them up even further. Um, and the best tool for that at the moment is SEO Autopilot. Now, you can get a lifetime license. You can try it out for seven days. You can get one month packages, three month packages and so on. So there's lots of different packages available. What SEO Pilot, uh, Autopilot basically is, uh, is an automated link building tool that um, allows you to basically, you plug it in and play and it will do all of your kind of link building for you, build, you know, keyword diversity, it will get help you with local rankings, it can help you with videos um, and you can basically build your own diagrams and whatnot. And they do have their own designated group and everything where you can ask questions. But it's a great tool that build up some real, you know, even here, zoom in, Tumblr, WordPress, blah, 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 blah. All of these kind of web 2.0s, which you can use to power up those initial guest posts. That's something I would be looking to do um, initially. Now, you can buy guest posts from other people. You don't have to buy them from... People per hour. There are vendors out there like links for you.com. You've also got getmelinks.com. Wait a minute. Links for you.com. Loads of these guys do outreach on a massive scale and they're basically doing outreach to, to get links on guest posts that are out there. So you can buy them here, you don't have to go to People Per Hour. People Per Hour seem to have a whole bunch of high profile ones that everyone's got. Now, further down the line, you will want to use someone like Links For You or Get Me Links or whoever it may be, because they are going to get you more niche specific. They're going to be relevant to your website. They are all spam checked. They, are, they all do have traffic, they all do have rankings, and they do also guarantee you DR metrics. Um, so, <clears throat> you know, once you initially get that, you may want to move on to something like Links For You, buy a couple of links, power them up with SE Autopilot as well, rinse and repeat that process. Now, that's just guest posting, that's one way of building links on top of your citations and things like that. Now, i done a presentation, um, and I've done loads of link building presentations, and obviously what we want to do is go over, you know, what gets a website from, you know, down down there to, to growing um, and having a spike in traffic and a spike in keywords. Um, now, you can outsource a lot of this stuff. Um, you know, you can buy, you get emails, you can buy these links from people. Um, as I say, people per hour... There's loads of websites out there that also sell guest posts, links for you, get me links, but there also are other techniques such as broken link building. Now, what is broken link building? You can go from website A. So website A, for example, is your competitor's website. And it's, or, no, it's just it's a random website that links to your competitor and there's some 404 errors or whatever on there, you can approach website A and tell them that they've got a great article, but it's linking to a dead resource. Here's a similar article. Please link to my website. There you go. Job done. And if they're linking out to it and, and it's returning a 404 error, then sure, that's good news, right? Um, and that gives you an opportunity. Now, if we go to any website, I'm just going to put Amazon in just for the sheer hell of it. Um, now, if we go to any website here, we can go to outgoing links on Ahrefs and you can go to broken links. And that in itself is giving you a whole bunch of opportunity to approach someone. So you can go to any random niche relevant website and find broken links 
reach out to, to Amazon, for example, now that's just a hypothetical example, and say, you're linking to this here, it doesn't work, but I've got a page on this, or a product on this, how about linking to this? Job done. So you can get the picture with the broken link building. Um, great way to build links. And quite a clean way to do it. You can use Ahrefs, SEMrush, whatever, to find broken links. PBNs, I'm not going to talk too much about PBNs here. Um, you can, we'll do a PBN video later on. Um, but I'm going to skip by all of the expired domain name stuff because it's something that may or may not be useful to you. <coughs> so we're going to ignore these on the slides. Um, do, do, do. Right. So, here's another trick. Again, it might or might not be for you, but I'm just going to tell you about the trick anyway that a lot of people are doing. John Mueller has in, is investigating deceitful link building practices and people are commenting on it online. Now, people are basically telling lies here, um, which can be easy peasy and fun, and you're basically taking advantage of the dumb people of the internet. So, for example, this is the liverpoolecho.co.uk, which is a high-profile newspaper website based in the UK. And you can see that the image has a credit to Julian Hamilton from the Daily Mirror. So, lots of papers will use images from pretty much anywhere. Um, now, if you look at this image, it will say image copyright unknown. Now, what that does is gives us an opportunity because the newspaper don't know who that image belongs to. They've confirmed that on the, the image there. Now, if I put in to just Google Liverpool Echo, image unknown, you'll see a whole bunch of newspaper articles that they do not know where the image belongs to. Um, so you can effectively reach out to these guys, whether you, you think that's ethically right or not, is it entirely up to yourself, and make a claim that that's your image. See, that's my image you're using. Nine times out of ten, you've got some young editorial person who is probably not that experienced who will just do it without too much of a, a, a fight because they just don't want any trouble. Um... I'm not going to tell this story because that's a bait and switch model, which is a. I've I've explained this in other videos. If you Google black hat link building, you'll be able to see more about this. But bait and switch is a model of link building where if you're going to struggle to get links in a certain niche, whether it be porn, uh, pills, or, or or gambling, then you you're probably going to have to use bait and switch methods. But essentially, you're going to use smoke screening methods anyway when you're building links because you want to hide what really works. You want to have your competition saying, I don't understand how this guy's ranking. What is he doing? That means you're doing a good job. Now, relevance is relative when it comes to link building. Um, at the moment, uh, Google probably wouldn't know the difference between Moby Dick and live dick cams. They're not that clever yet. However, to future-proof your website, you want to try and make sure that there is some form of relevance there. But at present, what is working is Moby Dick. It could be Dick Detroit, it could be Dick Cheney, um, and that could all point to live dick cams and they would all be seen as irrelevant. Now, <coughs> you want to basically also use link value transfer, which I spoke at at the start. The top website is your money website. The, the, the second tier down is those guest posts that you buy. And then anything underneath is all the kind of spam and, and, and everything else. And you can call it link laundering. You could call it doing the image trick. You could use PBNs, you could have domain takeovers, it could be sponsored posts and paragraphs, it could be anything that's seen as black hat or spammy. Now, link laundering, which is on the left-hand side, is obviously a dangerous strategy. But if they are pointing to an authority domain name with some intermediate links, 
which is those, those guest posts that you've just bought from people per hour, that whole structure there can power up your website very, very well. And you can also take risk. Of course, people don't want to use black hat techniques. Of course, people don't want to risk their own websites. And there is ways to counteract that. So do not believe for a second that your competition is not doing this. That is some simple steps to link building. They are doing link laundering. They're just doing it at a lower level. But as I say, you want to build up some easy authority. Get onto some of those kind of easy websites to get. Easy profile links on behance.net. You can go on to phpmyadmin.net and get some sponsored stuff. You know, there's loads of stuff out there. Um, I'm not going to talk about link hijacking or anything like that because this is a basic tutorial. But when you're building links, think outside the box. Get more links than the competition are getting. Get better links. Do not always follow people like a herd of sheep. Do something different. Be creative. Take a chance. Um, use fake personas, whatever it may be. And that is a good way to start your link building.